this video is all about my sale items. I cleared out and cleaned out top to bottom my craft room. So I put everything in bags, grouped them together so they would fit in either a small box, which is this guy right here. It ships for $7.90 or a bit of a medium sized box. which is $14.35. So I grouped everything into bags. And um, if you purchase more than one bag and I'm able to combine the sell items into one box, I will reimburse you for shipping. Um, just make the sell purchase on the same day so I can make sure I to put it all together. So again, I do have several bags. I have Tim Holtz bags, Graphic 45, Prima, Echo Park, Sizzix, Memory Box, Spellbinders, and I have uh, my dies are thin lit dies on the edge dies, the thick metal dies. I got them all. They're all grouped together. Um, stamp sets. The stamp sets are Tim Holtz, Graphic 45. Um, I even have an Echo Park one and some random ones, um, Graphic 45 staples, uh, a lot of ideology, embossing folders, um, charms, medals, and of course, paper kits. So um, I did take, go through some of my older kits um, that aren't selling, it took them apart, and I'm just selling the paper packs. So those specific kits for this sale do not come with a tutorial or cardstock, um, chipboard, um, embellishments, any of that stuff. So I do go over what paper kits that I have um, in this video. It's at the end of the video. And on my blog, I have all the pictures. And of course, when you go um, into the shop folder, shop tab at the top, um, they will be listed as a sell kit. Um, just so you know that these are specifically for the sell. So if you buy more than one kit, um, again, I can reimburse you for the shipping if you put it all in there. So let's get started. It is a lot of stuff that I have. I did group them together as best I can. Um, so again, we'll reimburse on shipping if you make multiple purchases. Okay, let's get started. All right, this is a Tim Holtz bag. And some of the things are used. Um, some of them are partial packs and some of them are full packs. So we're going to start with some glassine pockets, two full packs. We got um, two partial packs of the industrial stickers, and then we have two full packs of the industrial stickers. Um, two full packs of mini numerals. Um, there's it, They're in there. <laughs> um, full pack of baubles, partial pack of keyholes partial pack of adornments, another partial pack of adornments, we got some tissue tape, full pack of numeral brads, partial pack of foliage, we got a couple of film strips, um, ribbon, full pack of roller ribbon, um, and then a partial pack of label letters. This is some of them have been used. So this is uh, one of the Tim Holtz bags. All right, a Tim Holtz uh, bag again. So I only have uh, one large binder ring, a uh, full set of this bouquet of white flowers. These are inkable um, inks and stains. Um, we got a used set of alpha parts, um, collection folio, Word bands. These are, um, I think these are Halloween. It says Evidence, Discovery, Exhibit A. Uh, used um, tickets, but I got those. Um, small talk. Used only a few pieces missing. And then chit chat. And it looks like that's a full set. Tim Holtz bag. This is a Prima bag. We have some used um, trim, ruffle trim, 
Uh, some of it's been used, but there is a lot left. Three um, of these guys, the uh, memory hardware, and then the um, metal corners. So that's a Prima pack. All right, this is a Graphic 45 and um, paper clip pack. So uh, I have a couple of brads in my hand, but we have some tissue tape. The top one has been used. The other three have not. We got um, the metal knobs, door plate, knob. That's a full set and then just one um, plate. This is open, but it is a full set. Um, metal hinges. Uh, some larger brads, uh, envelopes, some smaller brads used. This is in a full pack as well. And then I'm putting these three guys in here. Um, Prima's metal. These are the birds. These are the keys. This is the butterfly missing one butterfly. All right. We have this in a bag. All right, I have a wood bag, so I have two of these um, ocean pieces. There are nine pieces in a pack. I've got two of those. I have some um, pumpkins, some tombstones, and then these two boxes that are uh, ocean uh, related. All right, all that in a bag. Okay, this is my random metal bag. I have two of these guys. These are like um, paper clips and they have a little hook on them. They're just called embellishments. Got some of those. They're both uh, 12 pieces. Uh, this is a partial little metal guy. Um, seven gypsies little metal pieces. Some door knockers. Um, drawer handle and then wow my goodness and another door handle metal handles all right all right here's my flower bag I have two 12 piece uh, white flowers um, a pink peach color set there's some leaves and um, burlap flowers in there and then this cute little just little pink flowers. All right, that's my flower bag. All right, this is a Tim Holtz bag. Um, there's a lot in here. So we're going to start with, I'm not taking all these out. These are the stick pens. There are 58 of these stick pen guys. We got some um, light bulbs and three knobs in here. And there are 19 light bulbs, different sizes. This bag, um, let's see, we got three faucet knobs, I'm reading some notes, um, six uh, twist keys, uh, seven word tokens, um, pen nubs, we got seven pen nubs, 11 gears, just some random gears, um, some more of these, there's eight of these, that means there is seven of these, um, tassels, and some clasps, different size clasp, there's, um, how many clasps, six clasps, Alright, so, and then we got, I don't know, oops, 15 of these um, safety pins that has um, boards on them. It's really hard to see. Or numbers on them. This is keepsake, findings, words and numbers on them. Okay, that is a Tim Holtz bag. Stamp and stencil set. Uh, so I got memory box, um, brilliant maple. This is an eye chart, uh, typewriter keys. These are stamping up uh, 2005 little stamps, so like inch and a half stamps. 
blue jean background. You um, new. And then I got some stencils from Recollections. Those stencils. This fell off, but it's still part of it. Um, Wendy Vici dots and stripes. This is used stencil. Um, Heidi Swap. This is new. I have some uh, bird stamps, clean clear stamps, butterfly clear stamps. Echo Park. Um, this is definitely used, but they're still good. Some background stamps. Some of them have been used. I don't think I've used all of them. These are musical notes. It's hard to see in the camera. And then this Wendy Vici. It's missing this bottom stamp. So I have this group right here. Which you can't see because there's a thing in the way. So I got those groups right there. And this is my um, stamp stencil bag. All right, nine sets of Tim Holtz clear stamps um, all in one bag. So we got this guy, which it's some are used. You can tell the ones that are used and some that I've never used. Um, this one is Random Thoughts. Little things. Phrases two. Regal flourish. Nature. Urban grunge. Lights of Fancy, Nature's Elements, Playful Journey, all in one bag. This is my random holiday stamp sets. So I got these two small Studio G stamps, um, Let It Snow. This is uh, Graffle 45's Santa. I think this is Tim Holtz Witch. And Craft Smart. I got Merry Christmas with the Santa. Reindeer. All right, all this in one bag. All right, this is my Graphic 45 four stamp sets. Um, this one's, um, I don't know what stamp sets these come from. So I'm thinking this is Halloween. This one's the Typograph collection that I really liked. Four sets in one bag. Okay, I have four of the Tim Holtz Shadow Press um, collection. So we got the Family and Friends set. Christmas set number two. Authentic set. An Expedition set. Four sets. One bag. All right, this is my random embossing folder um, bag. So there's six um, embossing folders. So we have Sizzix. I don't know the name of this one. I think this one went with like an ocean themed. Um, but I did like that one. And then we got two of these um, 1.4 inch. Punches, kind of like, uh, not punches, um, embossing, kind of like edge, maybe, maybe they're for the edges. 
I never used them. We got this big, does it have a name? Um, corner scroll. This one's butterflies and called butterfly swirl. This one, spider webs, called A2 spider web. Um, let's see, this one, this one's called lace, and this one's called flourishes. All right, so that's my embossing folder bag. Ink bag, I have three purple, different purple inks. Apparently I needed something purple, I don't know, and then some Versa Magic Drops. That's one set. We have a Spellbinders die set. So I got Spellbinders D-Lite um, Fancy Label Tag 1. Spellbinders uh, die D-Lite's uh, door here. Designer Series Shabby Posies. And um, foliage. So four Spellbinders dies. We have some Memory Box dies. So we got uh, Harvest Moon Tree, Ghost Trio. We have the Roth Iron Fence and Gate. And then Spooky Frame Set. We have six die sets here and three memory box, three poppy stamps. So we got this background, Frostville border, a flourish, vintage keys, royal crown, and Viva tree. So set of six. All right, here's my random uh, die set here. So we got um, a tag, uh, paper that's, uh, that's like the little hole, so it looks like a sheet of paper. Tim Holtz, um, mini feather and inkwell. This is Darcy's embossing essentials. This is, I think, Ivy order. Um, Sizzix flourish set. Bow Bunny um, Gears. It just says Gears. Oh, Gearing Up Die. Um, Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, we got the top and the bottoms of the tags. Designer tag pieces. Um, tags and more, one lace. And then the Sizzix um, uh, Regal Stand Up Card. It's 22 dies. It's got a whole bunch of um, dies in here. It's really cool looking. Alright, so this is my random die bag. I have two separate sets here. The first set is uh, Tim Holtz on the edge. I have torn notebook and um, brackets. And then for the second set, I have Frameworks, Trellis, and Steampunk. Um, the Frameworks is not an on the edge, it's Frameworks. So I have two separate sets. Alright, this set comes with four Tim Holtz Sizzik die. Uh, the first one is uh, Fancy Flight. Um, it's hard to see, but it is a butterfly. You have uh, two solid wings, two outlined wings, and then the body in the middle. Um, this one is the Regal Crest. And pediments, you got three toppers here. And then the cargo stencil number set. So this, this bag comes with four dies. This die set comes with seven dies, and this is my holiday die set of Tim Holtz and Sizzik dies. Uh, so this one is Tim Holtz Twigs. Um, 
Tim Holtz uh, Winter Wonderland, which is a snowman and a snowflake. Um, this is Sizzix uh, Reindeer. This is Sizzix Ornaments, and actually I have the sheet for that, so you can see what it looks like. Um, this is Sizzix Snowflake. Uh, Tim Holtz Prancing Deer and the Raven and Scaredy Cat Tim Holtz Die. So again, this is a set of seven dies. Alright, I have three punches. I have one-fourth corner punch, a uh, half-inch round punch, which is the handle punch, and then this little corner punch. So it's a set of three punches. All right, I have three types of punches here. Um, this um, is actually a flower punch. So when you punch these out um, into a long strip and you just curl it up to make it into a flower. I do not know the name of this one. I just know it's an EK punch. Um, this guy right here is a circle punch. Uh, it shows you how to do the smaller circle, the larger circle. I don't know the name of this one. It's, like, it's Fiskars. And it comes with, I guess, a circle guide um, for four inch circles and six inch circles. I actually don't think I've ever used the punch, so I don't know much about it. And this loop punch, um, I think, also does the circle. Um, does one um, edge or... Uh, this strip. I will say this is very tough to push down. Um, it's always been tough to push down and I don't know if it's because it has um, the different things that you can do and I don't know how to do, um, I mean it shows the circle. Um, I have no idea how to do it. Never done it. Um, I just know this is a tough punch to push down. Um, so if you're strong and you want to try it, go ahead. But this one is a little, t I don't know if it maybe needs, it's always been tough, so I don't know if it needs some spray stuff or what, but set of three unique punches. Okay, I have four Martha Stewart punches. Don't ask me the names. I don't, I didn't write them down. Um, I've been, I tried to write them down here, but I haven't. This is um, a large flower punch. This one has um, hearts. Perfect for Valentine's Day. This is kind of like a star. And then I have um, gate. So four, two large, two medium Martha Stewart punches. Okay, all of these are EK success punches. I'm just showing you the design. This would be good for Christmas, um, for like a candy cane. This is the only one that is, it still punches. The only thing that's broken is the lock on it. It will pop out. Um, but they're all good working form. So five EK success punches. Four corner punches, one um, that's handheld. They, um, for the handheld, we got, you can see that one. Then we got like an American, good for 4th of July. And last but not least. All right, so four corner punches. All right, so I have uh, some paper kits um, to sell. So I, I went through all of my old kits, took some of them apart, and just pulled out the paper collections out of them. So I'm going to show you the ones that I have. So this one is um, a Perfect Autumn Echo Park collection. So it comes with um, the paper collection, which has some stickers. Um, 12, 12 by 12 papers, and then we have some coordinating solids. There's six 12 by 12 papers. Comes with the ephemera. And 
and the enamel stickers. Okay, um, so these kits that I'm putting up are just the papers and what you see. Uh, there's no tutorials that come with them, no cardstock, chipboard, anything like that. So they're straight up just the paper collections. Um, if you purchase more than one collection, I will put them in the same box and reimburse you shipping. So this is part of the sales uh, group and this is the uh, Perfect Autumn kit. And let's show you some more. We have Prima's Heaven Scent Part 2. So this is a really cute um, baby or child collection. I really liked this one, especially with the deers. Uh, so this kit comes with the 24 sheets, 12 by 12. We have corresponding coordinating flowers, puffy stickers, ephemera. So not only are these stickers, but there's some ephemera in the back. Um, they don't have a picture of it, but I don't want to remove them. And then some word stickers. And I think there's, yeah, a second sheet. All right, so this is the Prima Heaven Scent Part 2 kit. This one is Echo Parks I'd Rather Be Crafting, which is perfect because wouldn't we all just rather be crafting. Comes with some really cool stickers. There are 12 12 by 12 papers and then six double-sided colors, and then the ephemera pack. Okay, so this is I'd Rather Be Crafting kit. A um, couple of these kits I only have one of, uh, maybe even more than just a couple. So and once they're sold out, they're out. Okay. All right, here is Echo Parks, A Perfect Christmas, 12, 12 by 12 Christmas sheets. Look at that deer. So cute. Um, six of the coordinating card stocks. Um, yep, coordinating papers. And then the ephemera. Alright, so this is a perfect Christmas kit. Uh, this is Alice in Wonderland Echo Park. Comes with 12, 12 by 12 sheets, six uh, colored coordinating colors. We got some accent, chipboard accents, and the ephemera. So this is the Alice in Wonderland kit. Prima's um, Amber Moon paper pa uh, papers. There's 24 sheets. Um, these are really great for autumn uh, paper collection. I uh, have some of course, uh, coordinating flowers, puffy stickers, ephemera. A lot in there you just can't see it be nice if they put the picture on the back and then um, word stickers all right this one is the amber moon prima kit this is bow bunnies madeline um paper collection with stickers. I know my light's bouncing off this paper. It's plastic. And with it comes some coordinating card stock. Um, so we got dark green, 
until a lighter green, a light soft green. And so we got some coordinating cardstock to go with it. Um, yeah, some of it's Prima, uh, Prima, sorry, some of it's Bow Bunny cardstock. And then I got some, these are dots, so these are textured um, papers. So all these plus this is in one kit. So this is the Bow Bunny Madeline kit. All right, so this one is um, Blue Fern Studios Attic Charm. Um, so we got, oh, I forgot how many papers is in this. Um, there's 24 sheets total. Um, so we got, so you, uh, most of these comes with two sheets a piece. There is um, one or two that has three in there. I think there's only just one that has three sheets. Now this is the leftover paper I had from um, the Ultimate Waterfall collection. So if the paper looks familiar, it's from my Ultimate Waterfall mini album. And I didn't have enough sheets to make a full kit. So these are just my leftovers. But still, 24 sheets, plenty to make an album with. So this is the um, Addict Charm Kit, 24 sheets.